Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, MM Class. Today we will be discussing a topic on real circuit analysis, capacitive and inductive reactants. Now let us define first what is capacitive reactance. So it is a property of the capacitor to oppose an alternating current. It is denoted by X sub C, which is equal to 1 over omega C or 1 over 2 pi Fc. Inductive reactance, it is the property of the inductor to oppose an alternating current denoted by X sub L, which is omega L, also equal to 2 pi Fl. So this is the phase relationship for circuit elements, the phase diagram for the resistor, inductor, and the capacitor. So as you can see, the x-axis denotes the real axis and the y-axis denotes the imaginary axis. So for the phase diagram of the resistor, both the current and voltage is in the same phase. For the inductor, the voltage leads the current by 90 degrees, while in the phase diagram of the capacitor, the current leads the voltage by 90 degrees. So later, I will tell you how to easily uh, recall this phasor relationship. So this is the summary of voltage-current relationship for resistor, inductor, and capacitor. For the time domain, so we have this equal to Ri. Same with the frequency domain, that's just Ohm's law. For inductor, we have V is equal to L, D, I, D, T. And for a capacitor, we have I is equal to C, D, V, D, T. So this both equation is derived from the Faraday's law. For the frequency domain, so just, uh, it's just uh, Ohm's law. That's uh, reactance multiplied by the current. And reactance of the inductor, that is J omega L. Reactance of capacitor or the capacitive reactance, that is 1 over J omega C. So as I've said earlier, I'll tell you how to easily recall the phase relationship for circuit elements. The inductor voltage leads the current by 90 degrees. So just remember ELI or LE. L stands for in the inductor. E is the voltage and I is the current. So voltage leads current. For the capacitor, so the capacitor voltage lags the current by 90 degrees or a capacitor current leads the voltage by 90 degrees. So just remember ICE or ICE. So C is the capacitor, I is current, and E is of course the voltage. So current leads the voltage by 90 degrees. Now let's have some examples about inductive and capacitive reactances. So for our first example, the voltage V is equal to 12 cosine of 60T plus 45 degrees is applied to a 0 0.1 Henry inductor. So find the steady state current through the inductor. So for this problem, let us first identify the given. V is equal to 12 cosine of 60T plus 45 degrees so in vector form we have 12 angle of 45 degrees volts then let's solve for x sub l for the inductive reactance j omega l so j times omega is equal to 60 then multiplied by the inductance which is 0 0.1 henry and that is equal to G6 ohms. Then let's just use Ohm's law. So V over XL to solve for the current. 12 angle of 45 degrees over G6. So that is equal to 2 angle of 45 degrees. So in time domain form, we have 2 cosine of 60T minus 45 degrees ampere.
for our next problem so if voltage v is equal to 10 cosine of 100 d plus 30 degrees is applied to a 50 microfarad capacitor so calculate the current through the capacitor so to solve this let us first write the given v is equal to 10 cosine 100 d plus 30 degrees so in phasor form we have 10 angle of 30 degrees volts then let's write the capacitive reactance x sub c that's equal to 1 over g omega c is equal to 1 over j times 100 times c which is equal to 50 microfarad and that is equal to negative 200 j so solving for the current that is equal to v over x sub c 10 angle of 30 degrees over negative 200 g so our current is equal to 0 0.05 angle of 120 degrees ampere so in time domain form we have i of t is equal to 0 0.05 cosine of 100 t plus 120 degrees ampere so that's it for today if you have some questions just comment below thank you for watching